The New York City steam systems include Con Edison's steam operations, and other smaller steam systems that provide steam to New York University and Columbia University. Many individual buildings in New York have their own steam systems. Con Edison's steam operations Con Edison's steam operations is a district heating system which takes steam produced by steam generating stations and carries it under the streets of Manhattan to heat and cool high-rise buildings and businesses. Some New York businesses and facilities also use the steam for cleaning and disinfection. The New York Steam Company began providing service in Lower Manhattan on March 3, 1882. Today, Consolidated Edison operates the largest commercial steam system in the world. It's bigger than the next nine put together. The organization within Con Edison that is responsible for the system's operation is known as Steam Operations, providing steam service to over 1,700 customers and serving commercial and residential establishments in Manhattan from Battery Park to 96th Street uptown on the west side and 89th Street on the east side of Manhattan. Roughly 24 billion pounds 11 million T of steam flow through the system every year. Uses Steam provides heat and cooling to many buildings in New York. The steam system provides humidity to art museums, steam cleaning for restaurants to clean dishes, and other uses. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental effects. Approximately 30% of the coned steam systems installed capacity and 50% of the annual steam generated comes from cogeneration. Cogeneration and heat recovery steam generation HRSG significantly increases the fuel efficiency of cogenerated electricity and thereby reduces the emission of pollutants, such as NOx, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and particulate matter, and reduces the city's carbon footprint. Con Edison is promoting the use of steam for cooling in the summer months, something that can be accomplished with the installation of absorption chillers. Such trigeneration systems reduce peak electrical loads and save construction costs associated with expanding electrical infrastructure. Clouds of condensation can sometimes be seen rising from manholes in Manhattan through orange and white chimneys. This can be caused by external water being boiled by contact with the steam pipes or by leaks in the steam system itself. At least 12 steam pipe explosions have occurred in New York City since 1987. The most recent incident was the 2018 steam pipe explosion which occurred in the Flatiron District and forced the evacuation of 49 buildings. The explosion released concrete, asphalt, asbestos-containing material, and mud into the air. The asbestos cleared out of the air to safe level. A previous incident was the 2007 New York City steam explosion, and another on June 28, 1996, at a plant on East 75th Street. Topic. Plants East 74th Street Station at FDR Drive 40.766749 degrees north 73.9508952 degrees west, 40.766749, 73.9508952.
60th Street Station at York Avenue 40.7598303 degrees north 73.9589127 degrees west 40.7598303 Minus seventy three point nine five eight nine one two seven Fifty ninth Street Station at Eleventh Avenue IRT Powerhouse forty point seven six eight nine five three one degrees north seventy three point nine nine one six two four degrees west forty point seven six eight nine five three one minus seventy three point nine nine one six two four East River Station, 14th Street and FDR cogeneration, 40.727782 degrees north, 73.9732059 degrees west, 40.727782 70.9 BNYCP Plant Brooklyn Navy Yard Cogeneration Partners Cogeneration 40.699314 degrees north 73.976086 degrees west 40.69914 73.9914 Ravenswood A House Steam Station, Queens, forty point seven five six one eight zero four degrees north, seventy three point nine five zero three zero eight six degrees west, forty point seven five six one eight zero four minus seventy three nine million five hundred three thousand eighty six. Topic Systems for individual buildings In New York City, many individual buildings use either a hot water or a steam system for heating, and will have a boiler in the basement. A boiler is an enclosed vessel or tank that heats water using oil or gas. A steam boiler will usually keep the heat at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, then when the thermostat indicates that heat is needed it will increase the temperature to above the boiling point, 212 degrees F. This will send steam, which is lighter than air, to rise through pipes into the building's radiators. Many thermostats measures outdoor air temperature instead of room temperature to determine this is less efficient. There are differences between hot water heat and steam heat. Steam heat is noisier, but it delivers heat quicker. Steam systems can produce more uneven heat, and the radiators are generally larger. The noise known as a steam hammer sounds like someone hammering on a pipe. It is caused when water condenses and is trapped in a horizontal section of pipe so it cannot drain back to the boiler. Then when the system is next turned on, this water is hurled by the steam into the pipe fittings, creating the loud bang. Topic. See also Cogeneration District Heating Holly Steam Combination Company 2007 New York City Steam Explosion